This is the J-20, China's mighty dragon. Today we ask, is it a sky-dominant fifth-generation fighter, or simply another peer among the F-22s, F-35s, and Su-57s of the world? Let's break it down. The Chengdu J-20 is an unmistakable statement of Chinese intent. A large, stealth-focused, twin-engine fighter built around long-range sensors and long-reach missiles rather than pure dogfighting agility. From its diamond-shaped canards and Chinese to its broad fuselage and internal bays, the J-20's airframe shows design choices aimed at frontal stealth, large internal fuel and weapons carriage, and sensor fusion all traits associated with the fifth-generation concept of first look, first shot, first kill. Importantly, China has not only developed the airframe, but pushed mass production. Independent open-source tallies and defense reporting indicate the J-20 fleet scaled rapidly through the early 2020s and into 2024. 2025, becoming the largest single fifth-generation fleet fielded by any nation outside the United States. These numbers matter. Quantity changes operational calculus because a numerically large stealth fleet can complicate adversary planning and create sustained coverage and presence. But an airframe is only one part of the equation. For years, analysts flagged engines and sensors as the critical maturation points for the J-20. Early production J-20s relied on Russian AL-31 WS-10 family derivatives for thrust, which limited some performance envelopes and stealth signature management around the exhaust. Photos and reporting from 2024 into 2025 show that China has begun fielding J-20 prototypes and limited production examples with the domestically developed WS-15 engine and serrated nozzles. A significant technical milestone if the WS-15 delivers the expected thrust, thermal management, and reliability. A domestic high-performance engine improves sustained supersonic dash ability, reduces reliance on imports, and allows designers to better shape exhaust features to help overall radar infrared signature management. However, the WS-15's long-term reliability and fleet-wide rollout remain a maturation process, and Air Force can only truly rely on a new power plant once it proves durable under operational tempo. Sensors and data links are where the modern fight is often won or lost, and here the J-20 has advanced rapidly. Chinese open-source technical analysis and official reporting indicate J-20 variants now carry active electronically scanned array AESA, radars and improved sensor fusion suites intended to detect, track and share targeting data at long ranges. AESA rays give a fighter not only better detection and tracking performance, but also the ability to perform low probability of intercept operations and to act as a network node for other platforms. A 2025 technical review of J-20 ESA developments makes clear China is building multifunction radar sets and experimenting with RF-based networking and sensing roles that push the J-20 toward being a sensor shooter and a node in distributed battle space systems. If those systems are mature, a J-20 can engage beyond visual range threats queue long-range missiles and feed data to allied sensors and shooters in an integrated force, a decisive advantage in modern air campaign. Weapons integration reinforces the aircraft's intended role. The J-20 was designed to carry large long-range active radar homing missiles such as the PL-15 in its internal bays. More recent developments of folded fin variants and thinner, dual-pulse designs like the PL-16 family are explicitly intended to allow the J-20 to carry more missiles internally without compromising stealth. A long-range weapon suite coupled with strong sensors gives the J-20 an anti-access, area-denial posture. Shoot first from tens or even over 100 kilometers out 
and use numbers and sensors to overwhelm opposing defensive corridors. That arsenal, on paper, makes the J-20 a dangerous theater-level asset, even when it cannot match the maneuverability or dogfight characteristics of some rival designs. How does that translate when you square the J-20 against the F-22, F-35, and Su-57? Each of those aircraft was designed around a different set of trade-offs and operational concepts. The F-22 remains the benchmark in air superiority dogfighting design. Exceptional agility, supercruise with mature engines, and proven stealth across multiple aspects. The F-35 sacrifices some raw kinematic performance for sensor fusion, avionics, and cross-domain networking. Its value is the pilot's information advantage and the ability to play a distributed role in joint force operations. The Russian Su-57 emphasizes super maneuverability and kinematic performance with different stealth trade-offs. Analysts who compare the J-20 to the F-22 F-35 consistently arrive at a nuanced picture. The J-20 is not a simplistic better or worse answer. It occupies a different operational niche. Against an F-22 in a turning fight, the J-20's larger size, earlier weaker engines, and design choices make it unlikely to outmaneuver the Raptor. Against an F-35, it may match or exceed certain kinematic and range metrics while lagging in combat-proven systems and pilot training. Crucially, most published comparative analyses emphasize that the J-20's advantages are strategic and operational, numbers, range, long-range missiles, sensor roles, while the F-22s and some Western designs retain tactical edges in maneuverability and decades of logged operational performance. Numbers, logistics, and integration may be the decisive factors that shift local balances. China's rapid J-20 production and induction into multiple PLUF units changes the math of sustained campaign planning. More stealth frames mean more persistent patrols, wider area coverage, and the ability to accept higher attrition without losing capability. That force growth matters, especially in a regional context where local dominance, air superiority in a defined theater, and for a limited period, can be achieved by a combination of more aircraft, better long-range weapons, layered sensors, electronic warfare, and integrated air defenses. Still, numbers cannot substitute for experience. Western fifth-generation fleets have advantages in operational doctrine, combat experience, training and allied exercises, logistics chains, and weapons electronics maturity that are hard to measure solely by counting airframes. Strategic context also matters. The J-20's real potency increases dramatically when it is part of a larger PLA system that includes long-range missiles, AWACS, AEW platforms, space and cyber capabilities, and integrated ground-based air defenses. So, can the J-20 dominate modern stealth fighters? The short, honest answer is not universally, and not yet as a single aircraft knockout. The J-20 has unequivocal strengths, rapid fleet expansion, long-range integration with long-reach missiles, evolving AS sensors, and the emergence of a domestic high-performance engine that make it a regionally decisive platform and a serious rival to other fifth-generation jets in many mission sets. In contested airspace where reach, sensors, and numbers matter more than close-in dogfighting, the J-20 may well obtain and hold local air superiority. Where raw maneuverability, years of operational refinement, and proven logistics and training are decisive, legacy U.S. platforms like the F-22 and the distributed, networked F-35 force retain important advantages. Ultimately, whether the J-20 dominates depends on scenario. For theater-level suppression, long-range engagements, and distributed sensor shooter campaigns, it is a leading contender. For one-on-one, -on -one, within visual range dogfights against the world's most mature air superiority designs, it is not a slam dunk. For a video audience, the takeaway is a measured one. The J-20 is neither a paper tiger nor an unstoppable dragon yet. It is a fast-improving, strategically significant platform 
that changes the regional balance in China's favor by combining numbers, range, and evolving electronics. Watching how the WS-15 rollout, avionics maturation, pilot training, and integration into PLA joint operations evolve over the next few years will tell us whether the J-20 moves from powerful contender to dominant airframe in the skies. The Mighty Dragon is airborne and getting stronger, but dominance is never decided on blueprints alone. If you found this helpful, like, subscribe, and tell us which comparison you want next.